Hi folks, this is Dr. Rob Sivas. I'm the Carb Addiction Doc. And today uh, we're going to address obesity. And I'm going to address it from a very specific part. Obviously, and you know this if you've watched this channel, the three most important aspects of addressing obesity long term is to address your carbohydrate addiction by getting rid of carbohydrates like an addict would, not on a ketogenic diet, but from an addiction perspective, and replace the role of carbohydrates in your life nutritionally with a ketogenic diet, a high fat um, diet that is leaning more toward carnivore rather than vegetables, but either spectrum is good, but getting rid of the carbohydrates. And secondly, building for yourself as a replacement for the carbohydrates, a more effective effort-based emotion management system. That's what we do in my office. Um, the big new thing out there that is really very effective, and I consider it to be, quite frankly, a miracle drug, and I know a lot of people in, my, in this space, including my friend Ken Berry, have some reservations. Clinically, we use them all the time. And if you're obese and struggling, the GLP-1 medications, the Ozempics, the Manjaros, the Wegovies, as long as they're not overdosed, as long as they use it responsibly, and most importantly, as long as they're used in a multimodal therapy, are absolute miracle drugs. No question about it. No question about it. So, and I think that, that it is making a huge dent in terms of obesity. However, the, the knock on these drugs, there's several little issues with them in terms of side effects, which I really don't care that much about. They're there, but they really aren't awful for most people. The biggest issue for me, the dominant issue, is that people lose weight, level off for a little while, and then when they come off the medication, they regain the weight back. And that is a big problem. So it has to be multimodal therapy. And the thing I really want to talk about today is one of the most impressive, impactful things that we've seen. We've just, the reason why I'm as exhausted as I am, we've just, this past week, had an internal audit of an FDA post-marketing trial. So we do trials um, that are for the FDA, uh, um, for manufacturers of certain things, where we are doing the testing, we're doing the trial, and we've just completed uh, the first post-marketing portion of an FDA trial on something called the, the SPATS-3, the SPATS-3 intragastric balloon. And we now, because we've done that and we've been audited, we now have some of these SPATS balloons that we are able to commercially put into people outside of the trial. And in fact, we've decided to keep our price point exactly the same. Now, here's the, this is probably the worst time in the history of bariatric medicine to do and release a device like the balloon because the GLP-1 agonist medications are so damn good that before when people had... Um, diet and exercise or a, carb, carbohydrate, a reduced carbohydrate, carb addiction model, and they needed help. Early on, all we had was um, the conservative changing your lifestyle and then leaping across to big gun surgeries, uh, lap band, sleeve gastrectomy, gastric bypass, duodenal switch, the really big gun, more permanent surgeries. Then a series of balloons became available that were quite effective in that space, particularly when used as a multimodal therapy. But the worst time to release a balloon is in the face of the tsunami of GLP-1s. So why the hell am I talking about it? Here's why. Because a lot of people are going to struggle with GLP-1s. They'll lose some weight or they may not even lose weight. And I've seen several people that didn't, partly because of the behavioral side, partly because they didn't get the education. They just got a script. But eventually the medication wears off. If you don't change your behavior fundamentally, the medication wears off and you level off. And what do they do? They increase the dose, you lose a little bit more weight, but eventually this will fail. If you've been fat for a decade and you lose the weight over six months or a year, what does the rest of your life look like? Because you've made no changes. So the place where in multimodal therapy, this balloon device is absolutely incredible at adding to that sequence. If you're going to play a, a, a huge bang for your buck. If you want to put your best foot forward, play your A game. If you've prioritized not being diabetic, type 2s, or not being fat, obesogenic people, if that is the priority of your life, let's work as a baseline on changing the behavior. Let's add in the medication and then add in the balloon on top of that. And we do that in sequence 
but you do that in a rapid sequence over the course of four to six to eight weeks and you progressively whack this as hard as you possibly can. And that's what we're doing in our practice. So my offer to you is this. If you're obese, if you're an expert at failing weight loss programs, and I know everybody out there is going to leave comments, oh, you know, you've never walked in the shoes of a fat person who couldn't lose weight. You've never walked in that person's shoes. And if your priority, like it was mine when I was 300 pounds, when my priority was, I don't care what I do, I don't want to be fat at the end of this year. That's the audience. You can do this by yourself. You're one of those people that's got your egg. You don't need me. You don't need this video. Go be thin. If you don't mind being fat, this video doesn't, doesn't count. Until you do mind being fat. Blood sugar. What's my blood glucose? Up, oh, back down to 59. Okay. So the point I'm making is that if you're one of those obesogenic people who's wrestled with your weight and haven't been successful, if you are diabetic and haven't been successful at helping, this will help. And we're offering multimodal therapy. We're offering a baseline carbohydrate addiction model that you want to be heavily immersed in, like an alcoholic is heavily immersed in AA. We're offering a GLP-1 agonist injection, and we're offering a balloon, all three together for a single price point. And I know this sounds like some advertisement for Weight Watchers, or so, but it's not. It isn't. It isn't about me. We're doing just fine. You want a new, new uh, uh, visit with me as a conservative patient, you're getting a visit booked for February or March of next year. We're not, we're not struggling for patients. This is because I see so many people out there that have been shamed, 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 shamed into staying fat, that have tried a bunch of different things, are embarrassed to acknowledge that it hasn't worked. Lord knows, I was one of those. So... The program that I'm announcing is a multimodal therapy program that you pay for up front. Because once you put that down, the visits are free, the decisions are free. You never have to worry fiscally about putting money down. It's got nothing to do with me, the money side. Okay? However, the visits are free and we will hold your feet to that fire. If you don't show up, it's because of you. There's no other barrier. But you want to get that value for that visit. This is AA for fat people. This is AA for fat people. You come to the meetings. You come to those visits. And they're all individual visits with myself, with Erin, our psychologist, uh, our nurse, psych nurse practitioner, and with uh, um, uh, Cheryl, our dietitian. You get visits with all three of, three of us as a foundation to treating carbohydrate addiction. The blood work is ancillary, we'll order it, but the blood work you have to pay for, I don't have the mechanism to pay for that. But we will include your prescription for GLP-1 agonist injections, and we will include the placement and the removal and possibly the adjustment of the balloon at a single price point. <laughs> I don't even know what that price point is. Kim in my office does. I don't care about the monetary side. I really don't. I don't even know what it is. But if you have struggled with your obesity, why not spend a year fixing it, both by losing the weight and immersing yourself in the behavioral change that is most likely to result in you keeping it off? I've had some patients that have had balloons by themselves do great and make the changes. I've had others who had the balloon, lost a bit of weight, gained it all back because they never made the changes. I've had plenty of patients crash and burn on GLP-1s, and the world out there is full of them. Just watch Kim Kardashian's ass. It's doing this, and her ass pretty quickly is going to get bigger, and they'll call it fashionable, fashionably big butt. No, it's because the GLP ones failed because she failed the dietary part, unless she's seen somebody that is helping her with the diet as well, ketogenically. But the most important thing is the carb addiction. And if you prioritize getting rid of your obesity for the rest of this year, if you prioritize that, Give us a shout. If you're under too much stress from work or your kids or whatever, and you're prioritizing yourself second, don't do this. It's not going to work. Don't outsource to this. It ain't going to work. But if you're interested, text us, call us, 561-517-0642, or call Kim uh, or Julie in my office, 
Julie's number is 904-410-3934 and she can fast track you into this program. I am the Carb Addiction Doc. Leave comments down below, but don't be a dildo. Don't be an idiot. Don't be an asshole. Don't fat shame. Don't poke people in the eye. If it's not for you, that's fine. But if it is for you, don't be shamed out of this. Because that's what the trolls do. And I can tell you, nobody is as perfect as they say they are on the internet. A lot of those people are my patients. One or two are. For the most part, they're not. But they're all struggling. We're all human. I certainly am not perfect. I struggle. Till next time.